Okay, let's start. Let's start. Hey, hey. Um, today we're looking at. What did we get? Yeah. So today, um, okay. So yesterday, we no, we are on the right? Yeah, okay. So we. The phone is up. Oh. Um, right. Graphs. We are graphs, eh? Right? One hundred five graphs. So yesterday we looked at what a coordinate is. We looked at we looked at quite a few things yesterday. We looked at coordinates. We looked at domain, domain range. range. We uh, looked at function. independent, dependent variables. <coughs> whether something is a function or negation. We looked at continuous, discontinuous. We looked at symmetry. For that one. Those are the subjects. Okay, yeah. We looked at that. Then we started looking at graphs, sketching graphs. Okay. Yeah. Sketching graphs, right? Eh? So, sketching graphs, we looked at um, first graph was a straight line graph. Then we looked at an ellipse. Then we looked at a circle, rectangular and curvular, <coughs> and an eye curve, right? So, today we're looking at exponential or log logarithmic graphs. Before I carry on, yeah, yesterday those are one chair you watch the recording, you're okay with it. Yeah, yeah, that's complete, that is complete the recording, I think it will be the graph, the purple, the blue, yeah, the blue, yeah, yeah, okay, well, that's fine, but at least that, that's a standalone thing, it's not going to affect what we're doing today, but everything else you're okay with, uh, in terms of functions, relations, okay, good idea? Well done on the relations. You will have finished the, the, the video if you, you want to come pay in particular of attention on those uh, whole things. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> right. This is why I'm not recording for so long. Right. So, um, yeah, now we're looking at exponential or logarithmic graphs. And I'm on page 143 towards the bottom. Right? So, any log, log three. Yeah, I'm making a lot of mistakes in the same words, right? Any logarithmic form. Can be changed uh, to an exponential form. Do we all know how to change a log form into an exponential form? Okay, let's do it. Right? So, say for example, you have log 10, 100 equals 2. Right? Okay, and you want to change it into an exponential form. Okay, now exponential form is equal to, you know, like times 10 to the power, that's how it, it's exponents. You have an exponent. Right? How you would remember this? Oh, okay, let me write this. So it's okay. So its exponential form is going to be a hundred is equal to ten to the power two, right? And how do they get this? So in terms of naming what each thing is here, right? This here is your answer, right? You agree? Okay. This is your answer. Ten squared is equal to the answer, right? The answer is a hundred. So this is answer. Your ten is your base. Okay? Yes. Right? 10 is base and it's to the power of whatever index. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yes. I can see it there. Right? Just name me each thing. 100 is your answer, 10 is your base, and to the power 2 is the index. Okay? When you're converting it to log forms, when you're converting it to a log form, how you would say it is you would say log base. Answer equals index. Okay? Log base answer equals index. As long as you remember each thing over there, you when you're applying it, you'll always you'll not have a problem. So if you look at this, your base would be now 10. Right? Yeah. Your answer would be a hundred and it will be to the index two. This would be the exponent form, this would be the logarithm form. Are we okay with that? Then, so you'll see as we're applying it more and more to examples, you're going to see how you use it. That's the easiest way to remember how to converge there. In your head, just keep on saying log base answer equals index. And you'll see it when we're doing some examples.
Okay, so remember like how yesterday we had the general formulas for straight lines, circles, that sort of thing. The general formulas here that you could see for a logarithm graph would be y is equal to log 10 k x. Right? If you had to convert this into an exponential form, why, how, what would it be? Your base would be? Your base would be 10, right? Your answer is? Okay. And your index? Uh, you're blocking. Okay, that would be the exponential form of this. Log here. Log base answer equals index. Base, index, answer. And that's it. Right. Another form that you could get it in is y log e x. So this would be the logarithm form. What would be the exponential form? E to the power y is equal to n x. Right? Another form you could get it in is y is equal to k k l n of m x. What is l n? How many of you know what's l n? It's called natural logarithm. Right? L n is known as your natural logarithm. It's basically log of e. Log of e is ln. It's called a natural logarithm. Then, because we use it so often, they create the term for it. You'll see on your calculator, you'll either have log of where you can fill in the space here and the space there. I think it's towards your top right hand corner, just below the one button. Then, you'll have something that looks like this log. It has a block here yeah. and it has a block there. Then, then you also have an ln button. Below it. Yeah. That LN button is basically log E. Uh -huh. Okay? So if you had to convert that into an exponential form, what would it become? Uh, this now, okay, it would be okay. Y over K is equal to L okay, so it'd be log E M. X, right? I converted the L into log E. Right? Okay. And I just divided by K. Yeah. You understand that? Okay. So if you have to convert it now to exponential form, what would it be? E to the power Y over K. E to the power Y over K is equal to M X. And if you make X the subject of the formula, it will be E to the power Y over K all over M. So that will be the exponential form of that. Okay. okay. And then one more you got is y. What? Y is equal to k log a n x. Right? And if you convert this into an exponential form, what should it be? Okay, so this here would become y over k is equal to log yeah. a and x, right? Yeah. Log base answer equals index. Base would be a, your index would be y over k equal to and x. And if you make that the subject of the formula, it will be a y over k all over n is equal to x. So that's your log form. That's your Exponential form. Okay. Just make sure this stays in your head often. And why we use logs is say for example you have x is equal to 2 to the power y. Right? Mm -hmm. And if I ask you to solve for the value of y, 
How are you going to solve it then, your friend? You're converting into log functions, eh? And if you convert them into a log, what do you do? Why? Why is equal to log the base x. So you can substitute any value of x and get an answer for y. Okay? Here, if you substitute the value for x, just say x was equal to 2. You're going to end up with 2x. You know, so 2, let's say 3. So power y. How you solve for y? You can't divide by 2. You can't square root it. You can't square it to something. You have to convert it into logs to make it in terms of y. That is why we use it. Okay? Okay, let's do an example. Okay, so they tell you at the bottom that if you want to sketch the graphs, it is preferable to use the exponential form. So if they give you something in log form, convert it to exponential form, and then when we're sketching graphs, what do we need? You need coordinates, at least two points. Now you get that if you let x equal to zero to get your y-intercept, you let y equal to zero to get your x-intercept. So I'll give you some take it up. Right. Just say for example you have y is equal to log 2x, right? And if they ask you to sketch the graph. Uh, before you can, can you turn to page 136, right? I just want to show you what a log graph would look like. Right? Um, those four lines that overlap each other, it's just different types of log graphs. It's not uh, all your log graphs must look like that, right? For different formulas, you'll either get one of or two of these looking graphs, right? Notice how for certain graphs, if it cuts the y-axis, does it cut the x-axis? No. If it cuts the x, does it cut the y? No. No, right? And look at the shape of the graph, okay? So, let's carry on. Now, you got y is equal to log 2x, and they want to basically draw the graph. What would you do first? You convert it into exponential form. Now, if you convert this into exponential form, what would it become? <laughs> log base answer, right? Eh? So log base, your base is going to be 2. Your answer is going to be x. This is your index, so base to the power index, right? Eh? That is your exponential form. Okay. okay.